Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this IBM WebSphere data power tutorials we will be seeing about the uh, asynchronous outbound flow. So for this example we can take th uh, the protocol to be used as AS2. So AS2 is transferring of B2B messages over HTTP. Okay. So this is how it works. First the internal partner. So when I say it is an outbound flow it is from the internal partner to an external partner using data power. So the first step is the internal partner generates the message which used to be transferred to the external partner. Next data power establish a connection to the external partner and it requests for an asynchronous MDN. So MDN stands for message disposition notification and then the message is forwarded to the external partner. So that is the second step. Now the external partner will receive the message and uh, once the external partner receives the message it provides an http 200 ok response error so you have got so many http response codes so you have 500 for internal connection error 404 for page not found so similarly 200 is the response code for a successful transaction okay so after it it closes the connection <coughs> so after this connection ends the external partner generates the async MDN which is a message disposition notification. So after it generates the MDN it uh, establishes a connection using the uh, information which is available in the receipt delivery header from the original message which was sent by data power to the external partner. Okay. So now the external partner sends the MDN back to data power. Data power receives the MDN and it correlates with the original message. So after it correlates with the original message, it marks that transaction as complete. So by this point, the transaction is complete. So before closing the connection, data power sends a similar 200 OK response back to the external partner. So this completes the whole asynchronous outbound flow cycle. So depending on the note, so if the data power doesn't receive the async MDN, the outbound transaction is marked as pending. Okay. So it is not marked as complete, it will be marked as pending. Okay. And in case uh, if the data power applying re restarts due to some issues, uh, the pending outbound transactions are retransmitted back to the external partners. So this is how the async outbound flow works for a B2B gateway. So we will see about how a B2B async inbound flow works in my next video. Thanks for watching this.